My dad started the business in the late 1980s. He actually worked for Flower City in Kansas City for quite a number of years. And he, one of his jobs was to go around the continental US and set up the Christmas stores during Christmas time. And in the late 80s, when he moved down to Houston, Texas, he decided that he would go and open up his own Christmas stores in the malls. And they did very well for the next uh, about 11, 12 years or so. And then in 2000, he actually met the number two internet marketing guy in the US. And that guy convinced him to build a website so that he could actually sell online year round. Naturally, he was skeptical. He really didn't know too much about the internet at that time, so he was like, well, okay, we'll go ahead and try it out. So he went, had the website built for him. He did it a little bit for the next couple of years. And when I started working for him in 2003, we went to the web full time and we made the same amount of money, but without all the overhead of the stores. And since then, we've just been online. Uh, we offer pretty much anything you need for Christmas. We have trees, wreaths, garlands. We have ornaments of all different kinds. Uh, we have battery operated candles that churches use. And we also carry a full selection of Santa suits and accessories for them, as well as uh, the Christmas lights and lots of other stuff. In the stores, we actually, we normally had at least three to four stores, so we'd have to order for each store individually. So we'd have to order, if we ordered one ornament, we'd have to order enough for each, for all four stores. And that sometimes didn't work out very good because some, it would sell in one store, but it may not sell as good in the other store. And it was, with here, we just have to order one set amount of what we think are gonna sell, and then that's it. And then we can put it all in one location. And really, the only thing we have to do is take a picture of it, edit the picture a little bit to make the background look nice, maybe do a little bit adjusting to the colors, and then put it on the website and then it's ready for sale whenever we get that up. We were actually looking for a warehouse location down in Texas and we were, the land down there was normally at least a quarter of a million dollars for one acre of land, at least anywhere that wasn't out in the boonies. And we kept thinking, okay, warehouse is gonna be around another quarter million, so it'd be around half a million dollars to build a warehouse in Houston that we wanted. I was, uh, my sister knew this and she kind of talked to my mom and JD, my stepdad, and they sort of started looking around here and I got out a hold of Curtis and he said, well, I have two acres of land here I can sell you. And it was a lot cheaper, I'm not gonna say how much, but we saved a whole bunch of money. The warehouse cost almost the same amount as it would have down in Houston. And as soon as we got it, everything up here and the doors on and everything, we sent the first of the five 50-foot semis up with our merchandise. Um, the internet is the best thing that happened to our business actually because now instead of just worrying about well trying to sell everything in one town we can actually go and sell everything from New York to California and we sell a lot of stuff on the East Coast and West Coast both and with the internet and especially with Next Tech we have really high we have uh, really high internet speeds here which helps us because the less downtime that we have, the better. And when you're uploading pictures, if you can upload them at a fast speed to our website, it makes it a lot easier and faster. 
really it's been closer to most of my family. I can see a lot more of the uh, sports here, the high school sports, because you can get a one pass for forty dollars. So here for all the games, but in Houston, you're lucky to go to one football game for fifty dollars. So that's one of the best things that I like, and I didn't miss that down in Texas was going to the high school games, and it's. I really like the community too. I grew up here and people say there's not a lot to do but if you actually go out and look, look for things you will find a lot of things to do.